Hello, this is Julie. Welcome to the Thrifty Paper Garden. I wanted to come to you today to show you some of the items that I got at a church garage sale and then I stopped by Savers uh, on their 25% off day and I've never been to this church before and some of the prices were good and some of the prices were kind of elevated so I took advantage of what I could and the first thing I usually go to is the linens and whoever said that thrift shopping and garage sailing church sales is not an Olympic event is wrong. I came out of there tired, sweaty, sore and felt like I had run a marathon and I have run a marathon and I know what it's like but there were some ladies in front of the linen table and I had to gracefully elbow my way in and there were about a foot uh, deep of linens on this table so I was digging in. Anyway I found this bed skirt. It's of a Waverly uh, fabric pattern. I can't tell if it's handmade or not but that it is Waverly fabric so I will be able to sell it on that brand name. This yellow fabric is a Laura Ashley shower curtain. Looks brand new. So that was real pretty. And then I found uh, this is a pillow sham and I also found a bed skirt and that's Chaps brand and I try to stick with name brand. They seem to sell better and with saying that I found this lavender and green pillow sham and bed skirt and it just says JC Penney's on it but I intend to sell it based on the pattern because it is a highly um, sought after pattern and colors and then I found these bed sheets I don't know if you can see it says Mattel 1983 and I am not sure of the characters on it and one sheet is not selling real well on eBay but I have the fitted and flat so I'm hoping that that will do better and then I found this Mishi I think it's called purse shell it covers a purse you buy you can buy any different um, designs to cover a purse and then you put this around it so that should do well and I'm hoping even though 4th of July is passed with the elections coming up that people will want to show their patriotism and then I saw this little makeup type bag with the London double decker buses on it and I think it was the J and Nay show they talked about Kath Kidson and that is what this is and these are going upwards of thirty dollars and so I was excited about that and then I happened across this big handbag and it has three different D or three different sets of D rings that you can adjust the strap it folds down it's reversible so lots of different options with that purse and they are going fifty to a hundred dollars so I was very excited about that and then I found some pieces of luggage have lots of nice benefits and pockets and wheels and they are chaps and I think I might just have to keep those for myself they're really good quality plus kind of big and bulky to ship and then this is a Franklin Covey small I'm not sure what th this size is called um, the planner and I have several planners and I did really well beginning of this year with all the planners that I sold and this is in like new condition for 50 cents 
So I'm excited to get those listed, and I just pray that they sell as well as they did last year, or the beginning of this year. I found some Minnetonka sandals. They're kind of a small size, but they're good quality. So I'll see what we can do about that. Found a few pieces of sportswear. This is Kirby Puckett, and he was Minnesota Twins. And we're big Twins fans, and I think I may actually just keep this for my husband. It looks brand new, and my husband said that this is the kind of thing that sports fans would probably frame rather than wear. And then I found this jersey that looks brand new as well, Broncos 15. Anybody? I thought I knew the name. It is Tebow. And my daughter has read one of his two books. So he is a little bit, shall we say, controversial. So I thought maybe that that would go well. I found some belt buckles. I understand. I think it was is it one of those picker shows on TV. I don't watch much TV, but anything they said with um, motor oil logo cell. So I got a couple belt buckles and then a cute fairly large stuffed animal and it says US Army and he is all uniformed up with his knapsack and high boots dog tags or shall we say bear tags and then I found a few things these are new in the box and I'm a crafter and that is a calendar kit and also I like to give, for especially wedding gifts, I like to give things that people can put photos in. And oftentimes I will embellish them with photos and initials and die cuts of different shapes like hearts and whatnot to suit a wedding. But these were brand new in the box and both of them are frames as well as they contain a photo album. So inexpensive wedding gifts and then I found this all of these are knitting needles and the sign said all craft items one dollar all sewing notions 50 cents and the lady that I was paying said she looked at me and I said it said all crafting items one dollar so I got this for one dollar I don't do any knitting, so I'm going to have to figure out um, what to do with them, lot them up or whatnot. But my sister-in-law does knit, so they will not go to waste. I found a couple hats. This one was kind of intriguing, and it had several buttons. Somehow Honeywell was connected to this aviation celebration or demonstration or something. So somebody will be looking for a hat to do with that event. And Lexus. High quality, high quality hat and what cinched it to get it is it had twins on the back of it. So I got that. And here's where the big Olympic event took place carrying these pans. These are, I think, Crusette. Is that how you say it? These things, this is a small uh, saucepan. It is heavy. And I asked a guy that was working the sale, I said, could you set this aside for me while I shop? And he said, no, we're not able to do that. So I put these in a box and I lugged them around. And there was, of this brand, there was a pan like this. And as many church sales as I go to, most of them do not have any internet service, Wi-Fi or whatever. And so I was not able to look these up. They're not in the best condition, but I think either way, I understand that they sell. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the larger one. Well, by the time I decided I would get them all, it was gone. But, um, and I have a saucepan in this brand. It is Magnolite Country Collection. So I got some nice heavy pans that I hope do well. 
and I found an erector set. Some of the vintage erector sets can go for a couple hundred dollars. So I'm hoping this will do well, especially with Christmas coming. You know what's coming. And Legos. I hardly ever find sets of Legos that I can afford, but this was a really reasonable set. It has about 16 minifigs in it, some interesting pieces. There's a dragon head in there and a skull-shaped Lego. So I'm hoping that that will sell that set. And then a Garfield tablecloth. I do well with vintage party items. And one thing I forgot over here, hopefully I'm not making you too dizzy. I found a couple skirts and I do really well with plus size clothing like 2x and I've sold up to 5x before and what's nice about these skirts is they're reversible so you get two essentially two out of one and so um, that's something to look for is the um, some nice plus size items especially um, sleepwear I do quite well with their, that, but you have to careful um, that the seams haven't been stretched, any st uh, spots or stains, of course, any rips. So those are some of the things that I have found yesterday. I've gotten several of these things listed, hoping for another good weekend. Um, I have never sold during the summer. I, last year I started at the end of August when things were starting to pick up with say um, holiday sales but I think I have done fairly well during the summer months and I hope that continues so thanks so much for stopping by and have a great weekend bye